Hi, I'm Dylan George. Me and my friends create videos on the Buddy Force YouTube channel. I've been playing this game since I was about seven years old, and let me tell you, in the years I've been playing, I know there's still a lot for me to learn. On Dueling Book, when you go look at all of the ratings, it shows you the top 200 people for each ban list, and that's what this series is about. My goal is to get on that top 200 list. I'm Dylan George, and this is Breaking the Bubble. Hey buddies, and welcome to the first episode of Breaking the Bubble. I hope you guys enjoy. You guys just saw the intro. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And yes, we are on a journey to try to crack the top 200 list on Dueling Book. We're starting a bit late. It's already May. Uh, we've probably got like less than a month left on this ban list. But hey, if it doesn't work out, we'll just try it the next list, right? So... Hopefully you guys enjoy this series, and make sure, before we start, uh, leave a comment down below based on what deck you'd like me to try. I'm totally up for taking your guys' suggestions. So, as you guys can tell by the title, I am playing Invoked Mech Knight this week, and I just decided to play it just because it's Helmet. <laughs> I, I wanted to start it off safe, so uh, I just played like a, a deck that I didn't even have to think about when I was playing so yeah definitely leave a comment down below with decks that you'd like me to use and I'll give you a shout out if I pick your deck and heck I might even ask you for a list if I have no idea what I'm doing so yeah make sure you do that anyways let's get right into it so as you guys can tell from the title we played against Lair we're just gonna zoom through this so, as you can see, I opened up an okay hand, especially because I was going second. My opponent activates Extravagance, I don't have anything. He draws two, sets three, and passes, so I'm like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna Lightning Storm this. I draw Nibiru, no help. <laughs> so I go into main, activate the Lightning Storm, and all three get destroyed. He tried sending one back to hand by accident, but he sent it to the graveyard anyway, so that's okay. Uh... I just do that and I pass because there's really nothing else I could do. He then sets two and passes. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try doing something. I misclicked here, uh, put it immediately back. He activates Trap Trick Sending Sanctum when I enter battle phase because I was planning on using Evenly Matched. So we go through, I activate Evenly Matched. He activates Sanctum, grabs Morale Tech. I don't know why he grabbed Morale Tech. Uh, Probably because he didn't want to waste a scythe or something. Maybe he knew that I wasn't going to be special summoning at all. But I do special summon. Uh, I go into Purple Nightfall and activate its effect to search Indigo Clips. Then I go Indigo, effect to move, and Blue Sky. Once I go into Blue Sky, I search Yellow Star. And I think I link those two away for Verde Anaconda. Yeah. I special summon the Yellow Star and then activate... Verte Anaconda's effect in order to get Rainbow Neos. Rainbow Neos didn't actually do that much. I just activated Rainbow Neos effect to shuffle the morale tech just because I didn't want him to have a monster. Even though he was activating so many traps, I still didn't know exactly what deck he was playing. So I was worried that if he was playing artifacts, I didn't want him to have one on field. But that was my mistake. I didn't know he was playing Lair. Anyways, he just scoops up right there. Uh, this is probably going to be like a really quick video because yeah, he just sided like right away. He scooped that up. Anyways, we go and he decides for me to go first, which I was sort of half expecting. Uh, that's why I kept in some going second cards, like evenly matched. I, did I take anything out? I think I took out cosmic cyclones for Nibiru's. I could be wrong. Uh, I actually don't remember what I grabbed. I should have probably Ash the Duality in hindsight, because I don't think he gives me an opportunity to activate Ash later on. Yeah, he's going to go Lilith attack for a thousand and then pass. Once again, I have like a decent going second hand. Oh yeah, he reveals the three Sanctums. Why didn't I act? I don't think I activated Ash when he activated Sanctum. Uh, I could be totally wrong. Man, am I that silly? 
<laughs> okay, so yeah, he immediately goes back to the front into his Lilith. I enter battle phase, activate the evenly matched. He chains Lilith and then chains Sanctum, but I didn't chain Ash. Man, I am stupid. If you guys go ahead and roast me in the comments, I deserve a roast for that. I, I'm mad at myself looking back at this. This is my first time rewatching the duel. I don't know how the duel went as it did. Man, I'm silly. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm actually upset. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah, I definitely should have ashed that. Wow. Man, I'm gonna get roasted in the comments. So he activates Scythe, and I think all I do is I activate Blue Sky, and then he ashes that. He remembered to use Ash. Uh, so yeah, I just went Blue Sky, and that's it. Then he goes Lilith, attacks my Blue Sky. At first, I didn't know what he was talking about. I read the chat wrong. I thought when I said F, he said F. So uh, there was a little bit of banter back and forth. Then he attacks me for a thousand, activates Lilith effect, and then summons a Darkest Diablos, which I was like, groovy, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, it comes to my turn, and I'm actually pretty set up here. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty stoked about seeing this hand. So I go Blue Sky, Blue Sky search Indigo. And Nightfall, because he has the two cards there. I then set the Mind Control in order to Special Summon Indigo. Move Indigo, Summon Purple. Then I use Mind Control on the Scythe. I tried to click Diablos, and then I realized, oh yeah, you can't target a Darkest Diablos. So I just grabbed the Scythe. Honestly, it didn't matter with what was going to happen anyways. I feel like you guys can already tell where I'm going with this. I have four monsters on board and a face down monster reborn. So yeah, this is him telling me that I can't target Diablos and that's me being a silly Billy. So I just link four into a Boral Sword. He activates back to the front. Uh, I forget what he targets, let's see. He targets Lilith. So I just, this time I remembered I have a card in my hand. I remember that my hand exists and I activate the DD Crow in order to get rid of the Lilith. Then I activate Monster Reborn. Uh, I target purple. Yeah, because I, in my mind, I was like, I could always tag out purple for something later on if I need it. Because for some reason, I thought that I wasn't going to be able to kill him here. Uh, I just didn't do math. <laughs> so, yeah, I go Boral Sword. He thinks that Boral Sword only did 15, which I don't know why... He would have thought that like they're both at 3000 either i'm either we're both dying or something's going on i don't know what was going through his head honestly uh i actually wonder can i see what's in his deck no i can't look at it on replay that's a shame uh but yeah so i just went into boral sword attack the diablos he thought that it was 1500 so i correct him i said hey it's 3000 <laughs> and I get GG. Yeah, that's what I I, I I blanked there. I'm sorry. So yeah, go Boral Sword. Just do the whole Boral Sword OTK attack. And that is the game. So yeah, it was actually like a really quick game. This is going to be like a really short video. I'm assuming that all the other videos are going to be much longer because hopefully they're actual matches and not like my opponent scoops early game one and then I OTK game two. Uh, so I'm gonna quickly show you guys the deck. Okay, so here is the full deck that I'm playing. Uh, it's pretty standard. Originally it was just 40 cards, but then some of the members of the Buddy Force were just saying like, hey, you should throw in Neos Fusion just for the just for the lull. So that's what I did. So it's, it's pretty standard Invoke Mech Knight build going second. Uh, I am running 3 Ash, 2 DD Crow. I just thought that those were okay ratios. I kind of want to switch them around, though. Like, DD Crow is pretty good in this current format, I would like to believe. Uh, but that's just my opinion. You guys feel free to tell me why I'm wrong in the comments. <laughs> so, I got 3 Alistair, 3 Ash, 2 DD Crow, 2 Gamma Seal, and a Kamungus. 
double blue, one indigo, triple purple, one yellow, and triple Nibiru. That's all the monsters. Then I got Instant Fusion, triple Invocation, triple Lightning Storm, triple Magical Meltdown. This card's this card better get hit on the next ban list. Can I just say, like, if it doesn't get hit on the next list, Konami Konami's not thinking properly. Got the one Mind Control, one Monster Reborn, double Desires, one Terraforming, triple Evenly, World Legacy Secret, and then the little Neos Fusion package. So yeah, that was... That's the deck. I actually... I'm not sure if you guys care about this, but I found out something really cool about Verde Anaconda, and it's that... You can't actually Ash Verde Anaconda. I thought that was super interesting. Uh, I've been out of the game for a very long time. Like, I don't think I've actually played online or in person since before Duel Overload came out. So this is like, that's why I wanted to play like an easy deck for the first episode. Just because I haven't actually played the game in such a long time. So I picked something that I thought I'd feel sort of comfortable with. Even though I've never played Invokemech Knights before. Actually, other than the Neos Fusion and stuff like that, this deck list is almost the exact same as our buddy Mike Silks. He was in our Buddy Force tournament. He was featured in a couple of the episodes. He was the Invoked Mech Knight player, Jay Wheelers. And I pretty much just like used his deck, but then I moved stuff around and I added in the Rainbow Neos, Neos and the Verde Anaconda, as well as the Neos package. But other than that, yeah, this is his deck, and honestly, I really like it. He's a really good friend of the Buddy Force, so huge shoutouts to him. Anyways, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Breaking the Bubble. I'm playing a bit off-camera, too. I'm pretty much just showing you guys, like, the interesting duels. Uh, this was probably the most interesting one, because, like, I think I've only played, like, nine games on rank so far, and so many of them, people just, like, dropped out. Like, they made... I made, like, two moves. I just went Lightning Storm evenly, and they just... <laughs> they, they just scoop out. So, yeah, a lot of boring games that I'm playing. A lot of people quitting early. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just showing you guys the interesting ones. Hopefully you enjoy. If you have any feedback or if you have any decks that you want me to use, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Also, huge shout out to Fusion Gaming once again. Remember to use our code BUDDYFORCE5 for 5% off at FusionGamingOnline.com. Not only does it help our local card shop, Fusion Gaming, but it also helps the Buddy Force. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.